praying for our youth, heaven bent, supporting one another, a living faith is what this life promotes, committed to press on, reaching life, forgiving one another, while staying on our knees, for it's God we aim to please, we are declared victory. Supporting one another, a living faith is what this life promotes. Committed to press on, reaching life, forgiving one another while staying on our knees. For it's God we aim to please. We are declared victory. Committed to press on, 
reaching life, forgiving one another while staying on our knees. For it's God. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Declare Victory. This is Troy the Finisher, who's on the line. Good morning. It's Susie. Good morning, Susie. Happy Triumph for Tuesday. Same to you. Thank you. Can you just keep me? Can you keep me in your prayers, please? Okay. Thank you. Mhm. You're welcome. Anyone else want to say good morning? Good morning, morning. My Eva. Mary. Good morning, Tuesday. Happy drive for Tuesday, Yvonne. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Thank you. Have a great day. Anyone else to say good morning? Good morning, it's Kind Kim. Good morning, beautiful. Happy Triumphant Tuesday. I love you. I love you too, Kind Kim. Thank good you, Sam. <laughs> Glory to God. Anyone else want to say good morning? Happy trying for Tuesday. The good morning, Miss of- B. Happy Prime for Tuesday. Good morning, Miss B. Happy trying for Tuesday. Good morning, this is Lori. Good morning, Lori. Good morning to you. Happy trying for Tuesday. 
Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, his beloved Barb. God bless everyone on this triumphant Tuesday. God bless you, beloved Barb. Good morning to you. Happy triumph Tuesday. Glory to God. Anyone else? I'm going to say good morning. Good morning. This is Sister Sylvia, and I have a prayer request, please. Okay, Sister Sylvia. Good morning. Um, I would like prayer for um, my granddaughter, Taylor. She's 15. She was uh, having suicidal ideations last week. She's back home, but with her auntie, not at home. And I want to ask for prayer for her mom, Star, my daughter, and for Maya. The... Okay, so we Good got morning. prayer for granddaughter Taylor, right? You see it? Yes. And mom, her star, her and mom, Maya. star, and her sister, Maya. Just pray for the all three of them. It's a, just a lot of trauma going on. Thank you. Oh, okay, we'll do. Good morning, it's Diane. Good morning, Diane. Happy Pride for Tuesday. Ooh. Happy Pride for Tuesday. <laughs> Good to hear your sound. Tuesday. <laughs> Good to hear your sound, too. Have a great day. I can't go on mute. Okay, Diane. Anyone Good else? Morning, is Kenya. Kenya. Good morning, Kenya. Kenya. Good morning to you. Happy Triumph of Tuesday. Happy Triumph of Tuesday. <laughs> you have a great day. You too. Thank you. Good morning. Welcome to the Claire Victory. Anyone else just join the call? Want to say good morning? Happy Triumph for Tuesday. The last Tuesday of the month, the last day of the month. Who was that? Do we have a first time call? Do you want to say good morning? Good morning. I mean, I mean. Said it again. Was that ring? Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean. Good morning to you. Happy try for Tuesday. Is your first time calling? Yes, it is. Yes, you say yes, it is? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Good morning. It's JC. Good morning, JC. Good morning to you. Happy Triumph of Tuesday. Thank you. Happy Triumph of Tuesday to you, too. I just have a quick prayer. Um, and, and it is just to pray for the world because it, it's just a mess. So much is going on. So I just want to pray for everyone. Thank you. Okay. okay. And for the new caller, thank you for calling in this morning. So happy to have you. Thank you. Good morning, Serena, the finisher. It's me, Mary. I invited Irene Irene to the call this morning. Oh, great. (laughs) Me, Mary. (laughs) Praise the Lord. That's awesome. Huh. Thank you, Irene. Irene, Irene, pray for me. You say you need prayer, Irene? Yeah, I just suffered a brain aneurysm. And I've been out of the hospital eight days. Okay. I'm blind in my left eye. Left eye. Yes, and I want God to open it because I've asked him to and he said he would. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you on a prayer. You got it. Okay. Anyone else want to say good morning before I get started? Good morning, Sharina. Happy Triumphant Tuesday. It's Rochelle. I love you. Have a great day. Love you too, Shell. Have an awesome day. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Everyone, please check your phone to make sure your phone is on mute. 
Again, please check your phone to make sure your phone is on mute. Okay. Hello, my name is Termina the Finisher, and I'm your host. Thank you for joining us here on Declare Victory this month where the theme has been seed, time, and harvest. Declares have focused on fertile ground as they know that Okay, that is where we get all of our nutrients as we are journeying through the, this Christian life. Make sure you invite a friend so they can be blessed too. There is one announcement today. TNT Bible study is tonight. Prayer begins at 5.30 p.m. sharp, and Bible study will go from 6 to 7 p.m. Pacific time. You don't want to miss the teaching from Pastor LaBelle Jones on the topic, Practicing Politeness. It will definitely enrich your spirit. There's no prayer request from the app, but we do have spoken prayer requests. And the first one is from Sister Sylvia, praying for her granddaughter, um, Taylor, also her mom, Star, and Maya, praying for all three. Also, um, another one from JC, praying for the world, for everyone that's going on in this world. And we have a new caller, Irene, praying for her, for her complete healing. Um, she was hospitalized, and, and we're praying for her left eye. The order of the call is prayer and corporate praise. It's Ramona, Declaration, Rochelle. Then we go right to closing comments hosted by Declare. I repeat, prayer and corporate praise, Ramona, Declaration, Rochelle. Then we go right to closing comments hosted by Declare. The scripture for today is Proverbs 25, 13. Let us no cool drink at harvest time is a trustworthy messenger to the one who sends him. He refreshes the spirit of, the, of his master. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of this holy word. At this time, you put your phones on mute until they come off mute. I now pass the call over to the prayer warrior, Ramona. Everyone, please have a blessed and awesome day. Jesus love you, and so do I. Yes, glory, glory be to God. Don't you love us? Oh, thank you, God, for your love. Father, we just come first, Father God. We all just come together right now with our hearts and our minds lifted up to you. You have been such an amazing father. You've been such an amazing God. You've been such an amazing friend, Lord. You've been a good just judge. You've just been so a good counselor. You are deliverer. All that we need, Lord. So first, we just want to lift our praise and say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being good. Thank you for just being so amazing towards us, for your love, for your love that you have towards us, Lord. We just say thank you. Oh, Father, we just come right now, Lord, just asking you to forgive us. Forgive us of any sins that we have committed, the ones that we know, the ones that we don't know, Lord. We ask you to please forgive us, Lord God, and we thank you. We thank you for your amazing forgiveness. We ask also, Lord, we want to forgive like you. We ask you to look in our heart, search our heart, Lord. Anything that you did not plant there, anything that you did not plant there that's hindering us from forgiveness, from anything that, that, that you have for us, we ask you to unplug it. Unplug it right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, have your way in our heart. Unplug those things. We want to forgive, Lord. We don't want to um, hold these people hostage to to not forgiving them because you, you ordered us, Lord, to forgive one another. So we ask you to help us in it, Lord God. Help us to, um, to see to see how to forgive, to, to know how to forgive. So we thank you for doing that for us, Lord God. We thank you because we know that you love us so much, Lord, that you give us all that we need, that we, we won't lack nothing, Lord. So thank you for giving us what we need to forgive one another and to love one another. Oh, Father God, oh, just touch each and everybody here, Lord, that's on Declare Victory, Lord God. You know them, Lord God. You formed them in their mother's womb, Lord. You know everything about them, Lord God. So we just ask, Lord, right now, Lord, that you just 
um, um, order our steps, Lord. You know, search us, Father God, and keep us, Lord, because you know us. You are all knowing. You are all knowing. So we just ask, Lord, that you just keep us, Lord. Keep us in your right hand, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord. We just thank you, Father God. And, Father, we know that there are prayer requests, Lord. So we just ask, Lord, that you touch Kayla. We touch. We actually touch Taylor right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you give her and her a, a new hope. We pray hope for her, Lord God. Oh, Father, we ask, Lord God, that you pass down all those imaginations that's in our mind that is exalting itself above the truth that you love her, that you called her, Lord God, that she's a purpose before you even made her a person, Lord God. So we just pray right now, Lord God, for the new breath that you're going to blow in her, Lord, that, that's going to give her new hope in you. May her hope be in you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for the rescue you're going to do in her, Lord, in her mind. Oh, glory be to God. We thank you, God. Oh, Father, we thank you for our family, her mother and her sister, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that how you want to rescue and keep them, Lord God. Oh, Father, help them where they're uh, where they could be iron sharpening iron to one another, Lord. Oh, God, give them the word, your word that they can stand on, Lord. That they can stand on the rock. That they can stand and know that you died for her, Lord God. That you died for her transgression. Oh, God, that, that by your stripes she's healed, Lord. So we just thank you, Lord, for the new hope that you've given her right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, have your way in her, Lord God. Oh, blessed be to the rock, because you is her rock. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, thank you, Father. We also, for the trauma that's going on in her life, Father, we know, Lord, that you you, you turn, you work it out for her good. You turn the trauma where it's going to be her testimony, Lord. So we say thank you. Oh, thank you for the victory that you already done won, that you already won, Lord, that you already fought her battles, Lord. Oh, glory be to God, because you for her, God. You are for her. Oh, if you are for her, who can be against her? Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, blessed be to the rock. Lord, we ask that you pray for this world. Oh, God, thank you, Lord. You called this world. Oh, Jesus, we know that we're fighting against principalities and high places, Lord God. So I pray, Lord, right now for your people to turn from their wicked ways. Oh, God, and humble themselves. Oh, God, oh, that you shall heal the land, Lord. Oh, bless you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That we shall turn from our wicked ways, Lord. Oh, thank you. Glory be to God. That the land shall be healed. And we thank you for the healing, the healing of the land, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, we say thank you for Irene, Lord God. We we come right now asking you to touch her, Lord, in a way that only you can. You know, Lord. You know her, Lord. We we ask that you just pick that that, that clay on her eye. Oh God, yes, that clay that 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 you did in the Bible, Father Jesus, and you you pin it on her eye, Lord, that she may see. Through the lens, your lens, Lord. Through the lens of God. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing that you're doing in her right now. Oh, bless you, Lord God. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. You are amazing, God. You are amazing, God, that we can we can hold on to your promises, Lord. You promised us, Lord, that you weren't going to ever, ever leave us. You are going to ever, ever forsake us, Lord. Oh, God, we can stand on your faithfulness, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. You are amazing, God. Oh, God, we ask you just to come right now, order our steps on today. Order our steps on today, Lord, that we shall walk in what is written of us. Oh, God, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. We walk in that narrow path, Father God, that you have made for us, Lord. Oh, thank you that you are giving us the strength and the courage and, and the, the, the substance to endure because you said the race is not given to the swift, but the one that endures, Lord. So we thank you, Lord, that we endure because we can cast our burdens to you, Lord God. Oh, God, thank you, Lord, that you help us along the way. You keep us along the way. You cover us along the way. Oh, God, the blood has never lost its power, and it never will. So we just thank you, Lord God. 
Glory be to God. Lord, that we thank you, Lord, for the uncorruptible seed that you have planted in us, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, the uncorruptible seed that you have planted in us. Oh, Lord, that we that is going to produce good fruit from you, Lord God. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. God, we just come right now, and we want to ask that everybody to come off the phone right now and give God praise, because he's for you. He's for you. God is for us. Thank you. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for being for us. Thank you for never leaving us off. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.
Oh, God, because you are worthy. You are worthy. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, as you go with us on today, Lord. Cover us, Father God. Cover us with your blood, Lord God. May we may we keep our eyes to the hills which comes our help, Lord, because we know our help comes from you, Father God. May, our, may we be the ambassadors that you called us to be, Lord God. Yes, may we stand on your word, Lord God. We thank you, Lord. As we come right now, we ask you just to touch your daughter with store with resilient, with still, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for the word that you're going to bring through her for us, Lord. Oh, open our ears that we may hear you. We may hear you, but most of all, God, may you may we be doers of your word. May we be doers of your word. Oh, glory be to God. We thank you, Father. We love you, but we know you love us more. Oh, thank you, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And we thank you, Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. As our pastor called, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Mona. Hallelujah. The fire is real. Hallelujah. Good morning, Declare Victory. Uh, can you hear me good, Mona? Can you hear me, Mona? Yes. Okay, cool. All right. Good morning, Declare Victory. This is a triumph in Tuesday. Um, I am Rochelle. I'm going to share with you about seed time and harvest. Uh, but the Lord dropped this in my spirit. What does your seed look like? Hmm. I'm going to let y'all hold that right there. What does your seed look like? So, kind Father in heaven, I thank you again. I thank you for this opportunity to come um, before your people, oh God. I thank you that you have uh, poured into me and equipped me, oh God, to share, oh God, what you have given us, oh God. Lord, I thank you for your word, which is truth, which is nourishment, oh God. Lord, I thank you for allowing me, oh God, to be a servant, to serve you in spirit and in truth, oh God, that it is not of me, but it is all of you, oh God. Holy Spirit, go before me. Guard, guard my tongue, oh God. Speak what you would have me to speak. In the name of Jesus, I hide myself behind the cross. Lord, you speak through me. And Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah for this word will not fall on dry ground that it will be received with a whole heart. Not just for myself, but for all who is listening. In Jesus' name, amen. So <clears throat> again, I ask, what does your seed look like? We're talking about seed time and harvest. We know that sowing and reaping is a principle. Yeah, not not principle, not like Coach Carter, not no, not none of that kind of principle, but principle. P R I N C I P L E. It's a standard or a rule, a law, a guideline, a fundamental truth, a code or law, a guiding rule that explains how something works or an underlying, underlining quality that motivates one's behavior. Sowing seeds are what we call, or what I call, the process of production to produce. There are a variety of forms of seed. There's a natural seed that we plant in the ground, or planter boxes, or farmers plant in fields, or we plant it in pots, plant pots that yield forth fruit, plants that give off oxygen and natural nourishment for all God's creation. There is a monetary seed, and that's when we sow our faith in what was either said, taught, or what the harvest that we're looking for. It's giving, it's, it's your thanks for which you shall receive. A seed can be something that you saw life-changing, good or bad, trauma that creates triggers, a Samaritan experience, 
or how about Captain Salem experience? Maybe we'll, you know, relate to that a little better. Trying to help but end up creating an attached mess because we sold the right seed the wrong way. Something you say or uplifting that can be uplifting or tearing down. Something you heard and can't seem to shake the echo. Seed planted. Or could it be something you did? It is the cause or latent beginning of a feeling, process, or condition. Cause, something to begin to develop or grow, a person's offspring or descendant. These are all different types of varieties of seeds or types of seeds. Seed refers to the fertilized, matured oval that contains the em embryonic plant stored material, and a protective coat or coat. Here we look at first natural, then spiritual. The, the seed is the word of God, and the ground is your heart. Our hearts were created by God to bring forth fruit when his word is planted in them. Just as a seed has to remain in the ground over time to germinate, so the word of God has to abide in us. Whatever we see manifested in the world and in our life today began as a seed. And every seed that is planted must be received by faith. When we sow a seed, put it in God's hands, then watch God graciously and mercifully send the miracle that we need based on our faith. Again, principle a fundamental truth. Our seeds are planted in soil where the seed is planted, cultivated, nourished, housed, a place or condition favorable to growth, a breeding ground. In the natural, it's a top layer of earth's surface in which plants can grow, consisting of rock, and material particles mixed with decayed organic matter and having the capability of retaining water. A particular kind of earth or ground, talking about soil, there's a sandy soil. In the country land, they call it native soil. The ag agricultural life, a man of the soil. A place of condition, favorable to growth, a breeding ground, and so fields and plants, vineyards, that they may yield a fruitful harvest. That's Psalms 107, verse 37. What does your seed look like? Does it look like Galatians 5, 19 through 21? The behavior of the self-life is obvious. Sexual immorality, lustful thoughts, pornography, chasing after the things instead of God, manipulating others, hatred of those who get in your way, senseless arguments, resentment with others are favored, temper tantrums, angry quarrels, only thinking of yourself, being in love with your own opinions, being envious of blessings of others, murder, uncontrolled addictions, wild parties, and all other similar behavior. Haven't I already warned you that those who use their freedom for these things will not inherit the kingdom realm of God? The seed you sow is the harvest that you'll reap. This is what your production looks like when your seed, seeds or seeds are not of God. And that was the um, Passion Translation. Principle, just want to remind us that it's a principle, is a standard or rule, a law, a guideline, a fundamental truth, an underlying quality that motivates one's behavior. Proverbs 20, verse 4 says it like this, the sluggard will not plow by reason of the, of the cold, therefore shall he beg and harvest or have nothing. If you are too lazy to plant seed, 
is too bad when you have no harvest on which to feed. Uh, the Amplify says, the lazy man does not plow when the winter planting season arrives. So he begs at the next harvest and has nothing to reap. And we're talking about seed. We're talking about when we plant seed, when we sow seed, when we sow them on good ground, when we sow them on bad ground, when we sow seeds that are not of God, what your harvest look, looks like. Spiritual seed, but the fruit of the spirit, the result of his presence within us is love, unselfish concern for others, joy, inner peace, patience, not the ability to wait, but how we act while waiting. Hmm. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control against such things there is no law. That's Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Those are the seeds that the spiritual seeds that we want to sow so that we can reap a harvest, a harvest that is plentiful, a harvest that um, takes us to eternal life. Prayer is another principle of sowing, not just sowing, but the complete seed, time, and harvest. The seed is your faith. The nourishment is your truth and your weight. The harvest shows up after your obedience in the wait ting, in the wait ting process, the process of production to produce. Following God's instructions to do, following God's direction to go, not questioning, not compromising, not waiting to see what your thoughts and what you, you think, as my as one of my um, grandkids say, my own self think. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Um, we we want to talk about when we encounter people that uh, don't have, um, we can say, the, we, I like the way when they say the unhoused ones um, to describe, we don't want to call them homeless because we don't want to speak homeless. We want to speak life. We want them to eventually have a home full and not less. So when we talk about the homeless, the afflicted, the mental health, the one struggling because of this or that or the past. Matthew 15, 23 says it like this. The uh, application breaks it down as, it is possible to become so occupied with spiritual matters that we miss real needs right around us. This is especially likely if we are prejudiced against needy people or cause an inconvenience. We'll help in our own way rather than help in the place that they need help that they're requesting. When they ask for help or whatever it is that they're asking for, it's not for us to judge. If they're asking for it, give it to them. Because Proverbs 19 and 17 tells us, one who is gracious to the poor person lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his good deed. Be open to the beauty of God's message for all and make an effort not to shut out those who are different from you. Because be, uh, because not to serve, if you serve half-heartedly or with the wrong motive, your day of different might be sooner than you think. Guess what? If you give that to God and ask him to help you, he'll help you with that. And what I mean by that is, Give that when you pull up on a homeless person and they're asking for something, don't judge them. Don't, don't, don't say, well, um, I'll give you what I have in my car. Give them, buy them something, do something for them because God will reward you for your heart. They're, even though we're less, we're less fortunate in some areas, they're less fortunate in other areas. So we're all less fortunate. To, to a degree, if that makes sense. Um, sometimes we have to give up our own desires or our own wants just to help someone else. I promise you it'll be worth it. Proverbs uh, 19 and 17 just tells you that. Galatians 6 and 10, 
The one who is taught the word of God is to share all good things with his teacher, contributing to his spiritual and material support. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. He will not allow, allow himself to be ridiculed, nor treated with contempt, nor allow his precepts to be scornfully set aside. For whatever a man sows, this is the only, this and this only is what we will reap. For the one who sows to his flesh, his sinful capacity, his worldliness, his disgraceful impulses will reap from the flesh, ruin, and destruction. But the one who sows to the spirit will from the spirit reap eternal life. Let us not grow weary or become discouraged in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap if we do not give in. So then, while we as individual believers have the opportunity, let us do good to all people, not only being helpful, but also doing that which promotes their spiritual well-being and especially be a blessing to those of the household of faith, the born-again believers. I want to share a little something, um, how this came about um, as far as giving. I'm, I'm a giver by, nat by nature. Um, you know, my kids will tell you I'll take the last ticket strip out your hand if we run up on a homeless man, I'll be like, here, you know, we're fortunate enough to go get another one or whatever the case may be. Um, but I pulled up at the gas station one time and I sat in my car and I was, you know, looking at my phone, looking at my account saying, okay, well, I know what I have to pay and whatnot. And I was like, okay. So as, as I looking at my phone, it was really quiet and I heard somebody, my window was up and I heard someone say, excuse me, excuse me. And so I looked over out the, out the window and it was a man on the other side of the pump. And he was like, uh, can I ask you a question? And I did my mouth gesture like, okay, go ahead. He said, can you roll your window down? And I said, I can hear you. He said, I'll wait. I said, oh, okay. So right there, that showed me that my heart wasn't right. I mean, and I was thinking, I, I really, it wasn't intentional about, you know, not rolling my window down, but I was still sitting in my car, whatever. But it, it kind of plugged me when he said, never mind, I'll wait. I said, oh, okay. All right, Lord. I think he just checked me right there. So I waited a few more minutes and I cracked my window down a little bit. He was like, I'm stuck. I want to know if you can help me get some gas. And I was like, I looked over at his car and I don't know why I did this, but I just did. I looked over at his car and I was just like, oh, you don't have no gas? He said, no, I'm just trying to get a little gas so I can get on where I, you know, need to go. So the natural part of me was like looking at my phone like, well, you know, I was just over here trying to get the little bit of gas that I could get. I said, oh, okay, but whatever. So I sat there and the Lord showed me, literally showed me going back and forth in the car with myself saying, well, what you going to put in your car? Okay, well, you give him this and then you put this in your car, in your tank. And I was like, mm, yeah, so, I, you know, I only got this amount of money. So I said, you know what? I ain't about to do this. I said, let me go just pay for the gas. As I'm walking to pay the cashier, he said, put the twenty dollars in his tank to, as the twenty as you put the twenty in your tank. And I said, Okay, Lord. And I'm fine with that. So I get to the cashier and I said, Can you give me twenty on eight and twenty on seven? He the man was like, Okay, you want it on both pumps? And I said, Yeah. So I said, and and this is me still. My Colonel Self still standing there, and I, he said, I said, can I pay together? He said, no, you have to separate it. And I said, okay, well, whatever, that's fine. So I thought I heard him say, this is what I thought I heard him say, this guy again. And I was like, I said, did you just say something? He said, no, you said you wanted 20 on 7 and 20 on 8. I said, yeah. I said, did you, I said, he been sitting at the pump a long time? He said, huh? I said, so he did, the guy over there, he said, did you want the 20 on 7 and the 20 on So while he studied trying to ask me, and over here, the enemy trying to trick me, talking about this guy here, I said, how long he, I said, you know what, never mind. I said, give me 20 on 7, 20 on 8. So as I came back out um, the gas station, I mean, out the thing, and paid for my gas, I started pumping my gas, he said, hey, 
He said, so what I do now? I said, pump your gas. He said, oh, I appreciate it. I thank you so much. I said, oh, yeah, it's not me. It's because of the Lord. And as I was pumping my gas, now, mind you, I didn't tell y'all this part, but he was driving probably a 2021 Mercedes, uh, like an R320. It was a wagon truck. And I looked at my car, and I was just like, okay. He said, it don't matter because you're sewing into your neck. I sat there, and I had to humble myself. Because it wasn't that my heart was hardened and I didn't want to help him, but because I didn't immediately do what the characteristics of God is supposed to be active in me didn't do, I felt bad. So I said all that to say this. As Dion said the other day, make haste. When the Lord gives you the instructions, when the Lord gives you directions, Nothing that we do, we are doing it for self. We do it unto the glory of God. Who better to do something for that will repay you more than enough, that the blessings of the Lord will pursue you and overtake you, that you'll work from the overflow, that you don't have to do it with hidden motives and hidden agendas, that you don't have to argue with yourself (laughs) because the kernel self and that flesh is going to send you the wrong way. So, I just wanted to share that, and I just wanted to share um, just one more scripture. But to you, beloved, building yourself up in the most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, keeping yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of your Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. So look unto Jesus for everything. Don't struggle with what you think, how you think it. Ask the Holy Spirit what to do. Ask the Holy Spirit what to do and how to do it, and I guarantee you, you will be blessed. Um, So that's my share. Um, I don't want to go more than that um, because the seeds that we show, it is God. The, The word says that some sow some water, but it's God that gives the increase. Sow your seed on good ground. Sow it with good intent. Sow it with a pure heart. Uh, don't don't worry about who's going to come and water it before because that may be even your job too. But just know that it's God that gives the increase. Um, so to God be the glory. Um, that's my share. I pray that um, I said something worth, um, you know, you guys receiving. Um, and know that God loves you. So is there anyone that joined the call and that would like to say hello, um, first-time callers, please? If there's no first-time callers, um, are there any men that want to say good morning? Thank you, sir. And good morning, God morning, great morning, great share. Oh, good morning, my minister, brother, power to the people. Good morning, this is Sister Wanda. Thank you for your declaration. Good morning, Sister Wanda. Good morning. Good morning, Pretty. Good morning, Pretty. Good morning. God bless. Great job. Thank you. Good morning. To God be the glory. Good morning, it's Sunshine. Good morning, Sunshine. Good morning, Sister Stephanie. Good day. Great decoration. Oh, thank you. Good morning, Sister Stephanie. Good morning, Sister Lisa. Thank you. To God be the glory. Good morning, Miss Krishanda. God bless you. Great decoration. Thank you. Good morning, Krishanda. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Swanita. Good morning, Swanita. Good morning, Jubilant. Good morning. Good morning, Shell. Awesome, share. Love you, sis. Love you, too. Good morning, Christina Joy. 
Wonder Twin, activate. Great decoration. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Diane. <laughs> Wonder Twin. Wonder Twin. <laughs> that was hot. <laughs> Good morning, it's Gigi. Morning, Gigi. Good morning, Rochelle. Great declaration. Thank you. Good morning, Miss B. To God be with glory. Thank you. Good morning, Rochelle. This is beloved Barb. Thank you for your declaration. And can I also um, just ask that we pray for my friend Phoebe and her her mother Roxanne. She is uh, Phoebe is ten years old, special needs, going in for surgery today. Appreciate your prayers. Thank you in advance. You're welcome. Good morning, sis. Yeah, good morning. Thanks for your declaration. Love you. Love you, too. Tom, morning, sis. Hi, good morning, Rochelle. This is Janet. I um, I had a prayer, um, the uh, confirmation about Marisa Scott. She's doing much better. I was just wondering, have you had a chance to reach out and um, pray with her? I haven't reached out to her, but I did reach out to a family member. Okay, nice, nice. That's very beautiful. Well, I appreciate that very much. Thanks for the update. You're very welcome. Okay. Is there anybody um, or anyone that has want to you know, speak, add to, input. I oh, know I'm just straight with the word. I, I, I can't, I can't add to, take away, none of that, because it is what it is. The word is what it is. Hey, Shell. It's hey. Dee. Awesome, awesome. You just been reminding me of so many times. Um, that experience that you had with the brother at the gas station has been my story. It seems, you know, being a, a single mom traveling with my son playing ball, I remember having this brother who approached me. And initially, I was like, dang, I'm looking around. I'm like the only woman. You walking past all these brothers, asked me if I had some change. He said, I got a car full of kids. But just like you, I kept hearing the Holy Spirit say, girl, if you don't, I don't care if you got $40 and you got to feed these kids, you are to help this brother. And then when I looked and he was pushing the Escalade, I was like, oh, Jesus, oh, God. But <laughs> I was so rewarded because after I got over the initial, because I did, I was like, you, it really bothered mm-hmm. me because I'm like, you walking past all these dudes. But I got, went in and I paid for his gas. And he looked at me with tears in his eyes and he told me the honest truth. He said he was trying to get to Oroville or some place where his son had um, got arrested. And not that $20 helped a lot, but that's all I could give. So mm-hmm. learning that mm-hmm. and also how my pastor tells us all the time, to be givers, we can't judge the unhoused people. Even mm-hmm. if we give somebody money, they go get alcohol. That's what they need to do. Because mm-hmm. we don't mm-hmm. know what it's like mentally to be, and some of us that have been mm-hmm. unhoused, but just that whatever they need to get through, it, you know what I mean? We can't judge. We can mm-hmm. just do it in love, real right. love, and know that it will be given back to us because we don't know. We could be – nobody's exempt from that. So we just have to always mm-hmm. be mindful to give from a cheerful place. So I love you. Thank you for your work this morning. Oh, I love you too. Um, <clears throat> we got we have to um, stop trying to see beyond the need. we always trying to illuminate the situation and looking past the need. That was the scripture. Don't look past the need. We don't get to judge and say why or how come. It's like mental health is real. Hunger is real. Homelessness is real. Our different can only be a bl- an eye blink away. I know um, a family member that um, sold some, some real, real bad seeds and turned around, her different came back, I mean, like quick. So you have to be careful, um, you know, sowing seeds out of bitterness, out of strife, out of envy. That's real. The principle, you reap what you sow, that's a real thing. 
if you have an experience, it's not about the money. It's about what you're planting, what you're giving out. You don't always receive it back the same way you gave out, but if you give it out um, ungodly, you're going to receive it ungodly. That's a promise. If you give it out godly, he's going to bless you. Good morning, Sister Lisa. Good morning, Greg. Like that, Greg, you hit it right on the nose. That hit my spirit because now that God has played my heart and and I I know because I've been there, not only because I've been there on the car, but not just because of that, but I have joy when I roll up on, I go to McDonald's and I just roll up on this people standing out there and I buy them coffee. And so this one particular time I got the guy coffee and I had I keep noodles in my car and I keep, you know, water and stuff so I got said, Here, here's a later on to lunch or something. Here here's the noodle, here's the water. And so then he I I was standing there and getting back in my car and he was sitting there on the curb and he started opening it up trying to eat it dry. I said, Oh no, no, the spirit said, Oh no, no, no. Let me go get you some hot water. He said, they won't give me hot water out of McDonald's unless you, you buy some. So I said, give me the cup. And I went in there and I said, can I please have a cup of hot water? And they gave the lady looked at me because they know I, not I don't know, because I come there all the time, but I'm always given out of love and joy. And so, you know, mm-hmm. everywhere I go, whatever I have, I give, I, I give people rides home with, at the grocery stores with their families. And the, and the spirit just said, yeah, take her home. And they said, here, no, I don't need, I don't want anything from you. I just want you to know that who's going to tell them that Jesus loves them and that it's a better way. And that, hey, hey, we got to warn them that the things that's coming on are because Jesus loves you. He, he can yeah. do it for me. He can do it for anyone. And I tell yeah, them, this is a better way. My brother, right. my brother, he was the one that was hopeless. Uh, you know, he, my cousin, he found my cousin, you know, passed. He ran and got help. But now I had him Sunday. He came in the church and he said there and said, sister, hey, I, I hear what you're saying now. And I've been going taking food to him and everybody on Betrayal Hill. And so I said, mm. look at God. Look at God. My yes, prayer yes. for him every yes. day. He, he see me right. walking. He see me not on drugs no more. He see me not on alcohol. He said, I see the difference. I said, not That's just it. me, but That's I want it. you to have hope you can do the same thing. So he's ready to go to yeah. a program. And then my granddaughters, they said, Grandma, we want to come to church. I wasn't forcing them to come because they gave their life, but then they stopped coming. You know, so I said, I'm going. I'm going to praise God. I'm going to, and I'm still right. praying for right. y'all. And now they and said keep they praying for him, Lisa. That's what you do. I keep said, being you got some, some seeds. Some seeds you can't see. Some seeds are just planted by your actions. So keep keep doing what you're doing. Keep trusting God. Keep yeah, sowing the yeah. seeds and allow God to do the increase. So good, Thank good, you. good, good. Thank God. you. Thank you. God bless. God bless you too. Hey, what's your? I'm so glad you said that. I'm gonna jump in real quick. Um. It's Moxie. Hey, everybody. When you said that right there, the action, and for me, you know, uh, I I think that if if don't get it, you know, twisted, the money, the sewing, you know, when you when when, when the unhoused, um, for me, are like, is active or anything, you know, I, I'm a mm-hmm. giver. I love giving. So um, when, for me, it's, the, it's not about that. It's the seed of my sincerity. When I, I, I love to look them in the eye. Let them know I mm-hmm. see you. I mm-hmm. love to, um, you know, give them a word. God loves you. Or when they say thank mm-hmm. you, no, God be praised. You know, whatever the whatever mm-hmm. the spirit may tell me what to say. But that for me is the the best seed um, mm-hmm. to give. You know, that love, yes. that kindness, that yes. look, that you know, that hug, that whatever. You know, I, I you know some people probably you know it's like girl, you crazy. It's COVID. But I, I, I still, you know, Holy Spirit say hug, I hug, you know. Yes, um, yes. Yeah, no I think that is the best yeah. thing that you can mm-hmm. give them because something about that touch, that reminder mm-hmm. of like, wow, like, you know, it's just, it's something about that for me. I know it's what, what it does for me, so I can only imagine what God is doing in them with, with, with that. So mm-hmm. I just, you know, know that God is going to 
do whatever he's going to do with it. And so remember that, you guys, that that sometimes it's not always about that money. It's about looking your brother and sister mm-hmm. in the eye and let them know you see him and you love him, you know, mm-hmm. and encourage him, you know, and let them know that yeah. you, they, you know, put their eyes on, on the hope which is in God and, and with, you know, y'all, you know, whatever the spirit leads you to say. To God's praise. Mm-hmm. God. That's good, Mona, because as I was studying, the Lord just showed me how are you cultivating the seeds that the people drive, the, the seeds that are planted when people drive past the homeless people? Are you cultivating the seed where um, they're standing there holding the sign and you won't look at them, you won't look at them eye to eye? Sometimes all they want is for you to acknowledge them. And this one person um, had a sign. And she said, all I want is a smile. Can you just smile? Come on. She didn't even ask for nothing. She asked for something that didn't cost anything, that was going to enlighten her and enlighten you. Yes. Oh, yeah. that's so beautiful. Yeah. A smile. Yeah. A smile. Just a smile. Yeah. A smile can change somebody's life. A smile, yeah. I, my elder says it all the time, just a warm you know, embrace or a word can change somebody's life. You never know what direction that they're going in on that day. And and even if you don't see the fruit that day, just know that you planted the seed, the spiritual seed, and God is going to give that harvest to that person. It may You may not see it right then and there, but you, I'm telling you, I have prayed for certain things and it, it didn't show up like right then and there. And then a later on down the line of years, I was like, I remember that. Mm-hmm. I don't forget anything. God doesn't forget anything. Michelle, this is funny that um, you just reminded me of, of a testimony um, that a guy gave. Um, when, this was in, when I was in Illinois, um, a church that I was attending. Well, I've been a member of that church since I was a little girl. And this guy, he would come every now and then. I was you know, see him at the church. And um, one day I was driving and I saw him and I smiled and waved, you know, and I just, you know, kept driving. And then one day he came to the church and he um, he had testified that he was on, that he was on his way to get high right then and there. And when he saw me and I saw him and I smiled and waved, he said it turned him around. It convicted him that he shouldn't do it. I had no, you know, of course I just had no idea. I didn't even know that he was um, on drugs or anything. And um, so, you, like you said, you just never know what a smile may do. That just reminded me of that um, story that he told, you know, later on. And so, like I said, I never um, knew that. So God would, you know, use you. So you never know. To what people are going through, what, um, um, as you said, just just um, being friendly, being whatever, you know, um, your, your smile may even change, turn things around. So um, I just thank God for your declaration this morning. Um, it was beautiful. Amen. Thank you, Swanita. I had to hit home first. And y'all, I promise you, I am a giver. I don't have a problem with giving. But when I pulled up and I was out of myself and I, the Lord actually showed me in the car going back and forth myself, I was like, wait a minute, what is going on? So just, just know <laughs> it had to hit me first and, and I had to repent. I promise you I did. And I constantly repent when I think about it. I'm sorry. Who's good morning. Good morning. Yes, good here? morning. Good morning. Oh, my God. Uh, great word. I was thinking, uh, you know, you talked about principles and principles, uh, the things mm-hmm. that we do. I love the fact that we can be the hidden seed. We don't have to, you know, whether we see the harvest right now or we see it later, a lot of times we give. The one thing about giving that I've learned, sometimes uh, I, this is, and it's scriptural. It says that what we do in secret, God mm-hmm. will reveal it God in the open. open. Mm-hmm. And he, he reveals it 
at another time. So if you don't see the seed that you have sown come into fruition right away, it may be years later. So I'm just saying to you, I had an opportunity this morning, um, you know, just I was online. I get up, I'm up, up uh, early bird. So if I ever uh, text you early, please forgive me. I forget sometimes, but I was online and I made just an inquiry and it was regarding credit. How many of us are having situations in credit or wanting to establish? And so I just was asking some brief questions. I worked in financing for many years. So I know the ins and outs, the ups and downs and how to get around things. But anyway, at the end of the conversation, because it wasn't something that I was really looking for, but the lady said, you know, have you thought about maybe possibly like wanting to come in and you can work from home and, you know, maybe you can be a lead person that way? And I'm going like, uh, mm. I'm retired. <laughs> I ain't trying to get back into the, you know, but you don't never know how God is going to come back and reward you later. So mm -hmm. sow the seed, walk away and let God, don't think about, you know, I, I, you know, cause there was times even in my, um, you know, with bringing your children. And I heard you say that, Rachel, we bring our children up and here we have, um, you know, we are all on set income or some of, some of us are on streams of income, which is great. Set up your future. I thought about maybe I didn't do it the best way uh, this morning as well. So I'm just saying, set your future, start sowing, and watch God make your future great. God bless you, woman of God. You did a fantastic job. Amen. Thank you, Mother Jerry. To God be the glory. I just want to emphasize again sowing seeds are what we what i call process of production to produce good morning rochelle it's pretty good morning Patrice. Brady. good morning I, know who you are. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. I just want to say that um i'm a giver as well and i'm a planter as well and what God had to deal with me with is even though I'm being obedient, not to expect anything in return, uh, not to look for anything, he wants our obedience. He says, truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of them, brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Mm -hmm. So we're doing it for him. He wants our obedience. He wants to know that when he prick our heart to, to, to tell us to give, that we hear his voice and that we hearken unto his voice, not the fact that we're giving, because it's his Anyway, mm -hmm. all anyway. the silver, all the gold is his. Mm -hmm. Anyway, everything that we have, because he's given us the breath in our body mm -hmm. to go to work, to make the money, to be able to give, to be able to pay our tithe. I remember mm -hmm. when I thought $20 was doing a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. No, the suggestion in the word of God which is our mm -hmm. blueprint, tells us that to get 10% of whatever he gives you, you mm -hmm. give. Off so, the top. Yes, off the top. Mm -hmm. First. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Um, thank you so much for your declaration this morning. It blessed me as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, pretty. That bless me as well just um <clears throat> what you said and um you know the enemy will come and take those those little thoughts you know that um when the lord says give me everything he means give me everything mm -hmm. sometimes we have little stuff that are laying dormant and we think that you know we've we've arrived in that area 
never arrive until we get to that eternal life. So we can all benefit from the process um, of production to produce with the Jesus that abides in us. Yeah. Amen. Hi, beautiful. This is kindness. I truly enjoyed your declaration. Thank you so much. Oh, good morning, kind Kim. Thank you. You know, I was tickled to hear you. (laughs) You know, I was so tickled to hear you. But I just wanted to say that um, everything that you said totally resonated with me, and it stood out in so many ways. I recall my pastor saying one day um, on this same topic that, you know what, you know that they may be going to buy a beer. You know they may be going to buy drugs. But thank God that's not you. So you're blessed to be the giver and not the receiver. And so Mm -hmm. when I was able to to manifest that, I said, you know what, that's so true. Because I have family that deals with addiction. I have family that's homeless, you know. And so it could easily be me. I chose God and my path is different, but that doesn't make me better. It just makes me different. It makes me on a different path. And I have to be able and be willing to help those along the way that are still struggling and in between blessings. So we're going on a little trip. And, um, yes, as I'm spending my few little dollars, because I don't got a lot, I eat steak on a hot dog budget. It's all because of God. I'm spending my little dollars. <laughs> but I felt led, you know. I went and bought yesterday, I bought 10 cases of toothbrushes. And... 10 or 10 to 12 packs of combs that had the big combs like for our textured hair so it's going to please anybody who receives it just to give because I felt kind of convicted like I'm out here doing this, spending my little dollars, getting ready to go on this trip but somebody needs me. So that's always in the back of my mind. It's because of people like you and the pastor that do their work in planting seeds. Come back, check on the seeds, make sure that they keep us you know. So I appreciate you sis everything you have done and said just watching you grow my little year on this line You've grown a lot this last year, and I'm proud of you, babe. I love you so much. I love all y'all. Thank you. Love you, too. Have a good day. Was there someone else that was getting ready to say? Yeah, it was me, Rochelle. It's persistent. I just said thank you so much. Um, I agree with kind Kim, watching you grow and listen to you, but I remember you sowed a seed in me when I first started out on this line, so I know you're a giver. And I love your heart. I thank you for clearing up in my mind my dilemma as I'm, you know, out here doing whatever we're doing. And we went across many of those who um, are asking or needing. You just cleared some things up for me in, in, in this um, declaration that you just did. Some dilemmas that go through my head as, a, as I waffle or want to give, but whatever reason, it's something inside of me that's I may be judging or thinking that really just need to let go and listen to what the Lord says and just give. Um, So, uh, because he's putting us in a position, he wants to posture us differently. He wants our faith to grow. He's trying to get us somewhere, and this is all a part of that process. And, um, Mm -hmm. And I so appreciate you for that, you know, clearing that up, some things in my own head, because as you were talking about, your struggle and how you were giving the brother the gas and, you know, looking at his vehicle or looking at his situation, God showed you you. And it really mm-hmm. does boil down to us in a lot of situations that we find ourselves in. Um, so I just appreciate it. I, I really, really do. And thank you for your heart. You. God bless you, oh, sis. You. <laughs> to God be the glory. I, um, I thank God because the word says, and and I I always know that there's a lesson in it. He said, if I can trust you with a little, I'll make you ruler over many. And when you think about God's little, it's not little, it's little to us, but nothing's little to him. When he say he'll make you ruler over many, stop thinking about people. We ain't, ain't nobody running nobody. But he's talking about the many of things, the many of blessings that he has for you. So if he can trust you with this little bit, he can trust you. He don't have to look twice over his shoulder and worry about you with the plentifulness. Hmm. Hey, hey, Amen. Rashonda. 
Okay. Krishan, I think there was somebody trying to speak right before you, though. Okay. Um, who is that? Okay. Go ahead, Krishan. Um, I just want to piggyback on what you just kind of said about the little um, great, great declaration and great um, uh, conversation. Um, I was hearing, um, you know, little becomes much when you place it in the master's hand. Sometimes we might feel like we don't have anything to offer, that we have so little, um, whether it's monetary, um, whether it's your food, um, whether it's um, even your sound um, speaking that you don't have much to contribute or whatever it is. But if we just allow God to use whatever he has, um, that we have, um, that it becomes much in the master's hand when we would just be obedient. So um, I just wanted to share that. God bless you. God bless you too. <clears throat> um, I was just sitting here thinking, I know I shared yesterday about my son um just making being intentional about going to church but even with that being the seed and being the or watching and teaching um we never know how the seed is going to our harvest is going to come back when i sit here and think about how depressed my son was and how he talked about giving up and how I continuously prayed, but it could have been just something as simple that broke the broke whatever it was just from me smiling or giving something to somebody else. So we never know. It may not be, like I said, it's not the same way we give out that we'll receive, but guess what? We'll receive. Michelle, this is pretty again. Um, the same with me. I had been praying so long for my son. Um, one day my son came to the house and cried out to me and my husband and said that he wanted to give up. And we told him that he had to keep trusting God and not pay attention to or look at what it looks like right now, that God loves him and that he has to keep going. Don't 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 give up, son. Don't give up. You've seen uh your mom and your dad and our struggles and how we came to California and got off drugs and, 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 you know, just have strived. God has blessed us so, and you know that God is amazing. My son came to church as well. I, it wasn't the fact that I needed him to come to church. I just needed him to be obedient because I told him, God told me to tell you that you need to go to church. And I wanted mm -hmm. to know that he heard me, that the devil didn't have him where he couldn't hear God or hear me give him a word mm -hmm. from God. That's what mm -hmm. I wanted him to see. And God gave it to me and blessed my heart so that my son, my daughter, and my grandson came. So we got to know that we are a light in this dark world, that we yes. can't give up, that we have to keep on giving and sowing and planting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it may not come back the way we think it's going to come back, mm -hmm. but it will. God will always give the increase because yeah. he loves us so much. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Your natural seed that you plant can turn around and harvest a spiritual, a spiritual harvest. So it's God. Whatever you do, do it wholeheartedly. Don't do it half-heartedly. Do it unto Him. Don't do it unto the person. Do it because of His love. Do it because Jesus sacrificed. Make it personal. He went to Calvary for you. He went for all, all of us. Of us. But he but went for you, and he stayed there, there for you. Hey, so um, you know I'm in the center room. So I'm in the corner. No, I am. No, seriously. I, I'm trying to. There's a few babies here, but they still in the kitchen. And I'm in tears. I'm just thinking about seeds, and I don't think it was 
maybe it was something Gary was talking about, things you don't see. And then he said, what do your things look like? And I was thinking about just me at 55 and just even just this weekend, I was talking to my daughter, the youngest one, about where I am at 55, forced out of uh, a job, forced into retirement at 47. And so it's not looking like what I thought 55 would look like. You understand what I'm saying? Go ahead. When I look at the three that I birthed and then all the other kids that I birthed was blessed to raise, and I see who they are and how they give, that oldest one, well, all three of my birth children are givers and my bonus kids, but that oldest, my son Armani, when I tell y'all, he would give up, he used to give away so much stuff that I was like, boy, I'm glad you have a heart like that, but I can barely keep you in your shoes because you got grown men's feet. But every time I would come home, this boy had packed his room up, and I'm not making I'm not making this up. I'm just giving. Well, they didn't have nothing, and I'm thinking to myself, well, babe, they got a mom and a day at the house. But okay, so I'm I learned like then it's not about the stuff. And even when you use the the analogy of the the cars we use, when like I said, the guy at the gas station, people give from a place of pureness. Like I said, I could not even today. I'm like Armani, baby. You cannot take his shoes off. People, I've seen him do it. But I'm grateful that even through all that I've gone through, and it's not all about me, I understand. And like Patrice said, it ain't ours to give. It's not ours. Give. Give mm-hmm. from a cheerful place. You know what I mean? I'm constantly giving, and I love it to be able to bless, especially not just single mothers, but right now I'm helping some dads that's raising their kids. If I, if I got you, I'm going to Amazon you some diapers. I'm going to go to whatever you need. And um, publicly, mm-hmm. Patrice, thank you because you don't even know this. But when my first my first grandbaby was born, Patrice blessed me at a time when I didn't have. I, I was able to go get a whole case of diapers <laughs> and some formula. And y'all know that ain't cheap. So just thank you mm-hmm. because you never know when a person, because we don't look like, a lot of us don't look like we need anything. Of the Jehovah Jireh. Mm-hmm. So I'm just All grateful, right. Shell, for this share in this month, and it's the last day of January, and you took us out with a bang, sis. Mm-hmm. With yeah, a bang. Bang. Well, I just pray that I fell on good ground, because, honey, we, as kingdom children, don't have to live in lack, because we don't have to be compromising flesh because of how we think and what we think. If we live for our Father who owns the thousands, the cattle on a thousand hills, who owns everything, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, and all that dwells within it belongs to Him, then we shouldn't even think twice. Hey, Michelle. Um, hey. Just real quick. I like how you said that um, the seed is the word, whether it's the word of God or words you speak. And mm-hmm. to find prayer as a seed, but then you said nourishment is our weight. <laughs> so how many times do we uh, dig up our seeds before they're completely settled in the ground because we don't want to wait, right? Right. Just something to think Come about. Come on, mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. That was good. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. I know when I um, used to plant a whole lot, I don't anymore, but I still got a couple plants that I kept alive. Um, sometimes when they weren't growing fast enough or when, when I look at the top of the soil and it has little white marks like it's mildewed or something, I would dig up the plant and I would rinse off that old nasty soil and I would repot them. Sometimes we have to do that. If you can picture the analogy of us being, our hearts being so nasty that the Lord has to pluck us up and re, and repot us. Oh, that's good. Good morning. This is Ruth. Good morning, Ruth. Hey, you know, they say um, the game is to be sold, not told. Well, I find myself... Um, just, you know, feeding people information, giving them the information how to start the businesses and about taxes and uh, about um, what steps to take to get into the food business and all the stuff that a lot of people don't tell. When I first got into the business, do you know how many people don't like sharing information? And, you know, and, and you call them and they don't call you back. And, and, it's, and I'm like, dang, is it that serious? And, you know, they scared that you're going to get ahead of them. 
like they say, people be proud of you until the until you you know you exceed above them. Um, and so I find myself playing the seeds and just giving people just the game. Period. You know the do's and don'ts. And if somebody comes to me and they, you know um, they want information, how do I how do I do this? And they and they're doing the same thing I'm doing, frying fish and doing um, a southern cuisine. I don't mind telling them. Nobody, I'm, look, I look, I look at it like this. I'm my own competition. You know, you could be doing the same thing I'm doing right next door. It don't matter. You know, I, um, I had a lady want to raise all my money for an event that I wanted to do um, on uh, next month. She said, because we're going to have four food trucks and we, mm-hmm. we don't want to duplicate. We don't want two people to be selling fish. And, I'm, and I know the person, the other person that's going to be there. And I'm like, I felt like it shouldn't be like that because we we both sell mm-hmm. our fried fish, but we both you know if you got that many people coming we should both we should both be able to make money and I was just disappointed in her because uh, she wouldn't let me come in but it's okay so I'm going to get a refund for that but the bottom line is so many people hold on to information and don't want you to get in because they think that you're going to um, you know surpass them so I um, I'm grateful today that. Um, I could tell the young chefs and the people that, that want to get into the food business everything they need to know about permits, insurance, and everything. So that's my giving back. A lot of times we can't give back cash. I mean, we can't give cash or, you know, um, tokens. We can just mm-hmm. simply give information. And that's where I am today is happy to be giving information to the young chefs that's coming up because they always call me. And they think I'm making a million bucks. And they're like, well, why are you making all that money? I'm like, listen. If you're in this business to make money, get out now because, <laughs> you you know, it's mm-hmm. not all about the money. You have to have the passion to cook and you have to have the customer service to be able to deal with difficult people because they out there. So mm-hmm. thank you for this declaration today. Oh, to the God be the glory. I think the most important thing, I mean, everything about the, the demonstration that God did for at the gas station um, it was it was all important, but the last thing he said to me, oh, and I didn't even tell y'all this one part. The last thing he said to me, he said, "You're sowing into your net." My first lady teaching us teaches us all the time. Faith is where you put it. So what you sowing into, you sowing into good ground, so you can reap that good harvest. If you see it's a good harvest, it's plentiful. You sow into it, so you can reap the benefits of the harvest. And as I was um, talking, he was saying, you know, stuff like, you sound like my sister. You look like my sister. And I was just like, oh, it's okay. And he said, you know, it's just kind of hard out here. And I said, I said, you know what? You don't have to look like where you came from. You don't have to repeat your history, but you do have to look like where you're going. So that part right there is he didn't have to stay in the place where he was. He can strive for better. He can do better. But sometimes it just takes somebody just to tell you that or somebody just to show you that. So Ruth keeps showing them. Keep showing them. Keep being the example. A lot of times we can't reach people by talking to them, but we sure can't let our light so shine that men will see our good work and glorify the Father. Oh, my goodness, sis, it's kindness again. I needed y'all so much today, and I'm just thankful. Declare victories like Grandma's house, y'all. I'm so happy to be home. <laughs> Every sister on the line this morning, I'm just feeling the love. I love When I say I love all y'all, I mean it. I'm thankful to have connected to a couple of y'all. I, my, my, I had lost my phone, so I don't have y'all number anymore. So I didn't just disconnect like that. But listen, that sis that was on just before me, I think, Sister Ruth, when she said they see you elevate beyond them, and they hate. Listen, you don't even know the work I put in. See, for me, it's my smile. They <laughs> okay. see my smile, but they don't know my smile isn't just because the pain that I endured to get the work. You see what I'm saying? And then like you just said, sis, you said, you can't look like what you come from. You got to look like where you're going. Baby, when I walk in it every day, oh, hallelujah. Thank each and every one of y'all. I love y'all, and I need y'all. <laughs> And speaking need- and claiming those things that aren't as they were and seeing them come to pass. I'm sorry, who's that? Telling her we need her too. We need each other. We yeah. need to encourage me that 
part of what this call is all about, mm-hmm. encouraging you. In order Amen. for things to change and things to happen for you, you need to be around people that encourage you and encourage you with the word of God. Yeah. This was awesome, Michelle. God be his glory. <laughs> it's not me, it's him. And I, I, I'm telling you, every time he allows me just to serve, however, I am grateful, humbled, and honored because of him. Not because of me. There used to be a time I wouldn't say nothing. But to God be the glory for my first lady, for my radical midwife, for my Tanya, not Tanya, for my DDs, for all my sisters that hold each other up, that hold me up and we hold each other up. As the song says, we need you to survive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there anyone else? Get ready to go take my baby to school. She got math this morning. So, mm-hmm. Oh, I just wanted to say this. This remind me your situation at the gas station. It reminded me. I don't know if you guys heard about the clerk that refused to serve the black lady, and she ended up getting one point five million just because he was too honorary. You know, I know this is this is another topic is racist, not to serve her gas. Just not to mm-hmm. not to allow her to get gas, and I don't know how much gas she was gonna get that day, but she ended up getting uh, which was awarded one point five million. You know, so <laughs> I'm like, let let me go let me go to the gas station. Deny me because I need about one point five. No, but I'm just saying, mm-hmm. I just reminded me of people mm-hmm. not being, you know, not right. But she walked away with one point nine off of, you know, that that. That guy not one to serve. Mm-hmm. As my sister said, we don't own nothing. But trying to protect everything. <laughs> Is there anyone else before we get ready to go? For real, Shell, you just hit me in the head with that one too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the way it go. That's the way it go. Well, I love you all. Thank you guys for receiving me, receiving the word. Um, you know, we have to sow seeds that will <clears throat> bring forth a harvest that will be plentiful, not just for you, but for everybody. So when we do things, we do it for the for for everybody. You know, you you you're hoping that the things that you do will help somebody somewhere. I'm just hard. It's cold outside, y'all. Go to Ross and get a $9 blanket. Give it out. It's cold outside. Whatever you can do today, be triumphant in giving. Be triumphant to know that when you lend to the poor, it's God that's going to reward you. But do it with a whole heart. So, Lord, I thank you again for this opportunity to just to come, oh, God, that we sow seeds of faith and trusting and belief and loving you because you love us first, oh, God. It is you, oh, God, that gives the increase, oh, God. Lord, we just are planters in the field doing what you asked us to do, oh, God. Lord, we do it with the whole heart. We do it with a clean heart and a contrite spirit, oh, God. So help us, oh God, to keep our hands clean, oh God, that there's no blood on our hands, oh God, that our hands are clean, that we are doing what we have to do for the people, oh God, for the love, for your people. So Lord, we bless you today as we leave this place. We never leave your presence. We take you with us. We take the word with us. We apply it to our lives, and we're going to bless someone today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, y'all. Love y'all. Have a great, great, great day. Hey, everyone. Have a great day. I love you, y'all. Have a great day. Have a blessed day, everybody. Love y'all. I have God. failed, but God never failed. I love yeah. y'all. Love y'all.